Fans of fantasy, fairy tales, and YA fiction are in for a treat. Book two of the Chronicles of Never After, The Stolen Slippers, is now in bookstores. This is a Cinderella story, but not the one we know. Joining us to talk more about her latest book in the series is author Melissa de la Cruz. Good morning, Melissa. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. Nice to be here. Uh, before we talk a little bit about uh, the stolen slippers, I just kind of want to give our viewers a little overview of your resume, if I may. Um, you have written over 60 books for readers of all ages, a lot of them young adult fiction, um, best selling series Blue Bloods, The Witches of East End, Alex and Eliza, Disney's Descendants series. Uh, the list goes on and on. Where do you get all of this fiction? You know, I think that um, it's my way of dealing with writer's block. So when I get blocked on a project, I uh, just start a new one. So I work on, you know, many different projects at the same time. Because when I'm stuck on one, I just move to the other. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. Um, so, so let us talk a little bit about um, this latest series, The Stolen Slippers. Uh, we follow a very you know, uh, maybe a little bit complex, a female heroine, somebody that everybody can look up to, especially young girls, middle school, uh, lots of lots of action there. Philomena Jefferson Cho, what is her latest adventure? So Philomena is the kind of kid who all her friends are in books. You know, she has a hard time relating to her peers. And so she uh, escapes into books. And then one day she discovers that they're real and characters from the book appear in her world and take her to never after. And in book two, she discovers that Cinderella is possibly not the hero of the story we know so well, but maybe the victim and maybe the two wicked stepsisters are the ones who deserve our sympathy and uh, a little justice <laughs> for themselves. So uh, it unravels the Cinderella story and uh, in a really fun way. A book one was published in 2020. Um, you've already got plans for book three. Is that right? Absolutely. I actually finished the first draft of book, three, of book three and I'm working on it right now. And it should be out uh, later on this year or possibly early next. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Because I mean, my 10 year old self uh, would have eaten this book up the entire series in about a day. You know, I just it's it's what I what I would love to do. So I'm sure a lot of uh, young boys and girls and adults who still enjoy fantasy and, and young adult fiction would, uh, would would really like it. You started writing in about 2000 four or so how has the industry changed for you now that everything is on a kindle or i can get it instantly yeah no i think uh there's a lot more competition for people's attention um but i count myself lucky i write for kids because uh kids still want the physical books and they still want to turn the pages and uh and our little uh section of the industry is uh selling those uh, nice uh, physical books to kids. You know, my daughter uh, was reading on her iPad and she didn't like it as much. She likes the real books. She wants to see them on the shelves. We do hope that at some point you make it uh, back down here to Austin and, and, and we can chat a little more about what's coming ahead. I know you're making a lot of people happy right now. Yes, uh, I have another book coming out, uh, a Cinderella story called Cinder and Glass uh, for teenagers. And we're working on, you know, new Never After books and a couple of TV projects that we haven't uh, announced yet. But yes, you will uh, hopefully have more to read and watch from, from me in the future. A little more to escape from, uh, from, from real life, or as you say, real life fantasy uh, emerging. Book two of the Chronicles of Never After, The Stolen Slippers. It is now in bookstores and online. Of course, book people here being our local independent store. Uh, Melissa de la Cruz, thank you so much and congratulations on everything. Thank you so much for having me.